All right, so you might notice it looks a little different up here under the hood. Um, done a bunch of stuff, haven't filmed much of it. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to go over uh, the coolant system, how I set that up, and how I think it'll hopefully uh, work pretty well. So uh, starting off is the Tesla coolant pump down here, which is bolted onto a mount uh, that I made, which I welded onto one of the transmission mounts uh, for the transmission. Um, and so off that runs, this is the outlet, that's where the coolant flows, so it's this direction. And then here's a Y splitter, I have two um, connections off of this, this is all three quarter inch uh, hose, and you'll notice that this Y splitter has some valves on it, so I can, I can uh, control the flow, and that's because one of these is for the, um, for the inverter cooling, and one is for the battery cooling. And I'm not sure how much the inverter is going to need relative to the batteries. Uh, and for simplicity, so I could just keep it on one loop, uh, I got this so I can turn on or off flow to either one. The inverter, this is the inverter uh, coolant fitting, it's not hooked up yet. And that'll eventually run to one of these two uh, inverter coolant hoses, which go all the way up behind there. And there's an inlet and outlet, uh, it's kind of hard to see, kind of dark, uh, back there. Uh, so one of those will connect up here, and then one of those will connect up on the other end of the loop, the outlet over here. Um, but so for now, the batteries, uh, battery fitting is on this side. And then because I have two separate uh, packs with five modules in parallel, I wanted to do an even split between the two of them. So this one is pretty straightforward. This is just uh, steps down the hose to the half inch that I need for the for the fittings. Um, but it steps down the it steps down the hose size to half inch, and then this is going to go. Um, this hose all the way around is going to go to the front battery box which is going to be up top here uh, going to be mounted on top of here to the engine mount uh, all that stuff and then this other one here is for the front and rear battery boxes which is the other set of five modules um, so because they're in different physical locations I had to cut the manifold these are zero EV coolant manifolds um, I had to cut that, so two modules, these are two connections that go to this front battery box right here. And then the rest continues with this half inch hose all the way to the back um, with the three modules that are where the gas tank was. And then on the, on the return side, the coolant is pretty, the coolant flow is pretty similar. Uh, this is the return. You can see the two connections to the front battery box. And then this half inch hose that goes all the way to the back for the back battery. Uh, box and then also this other hose which is going for this engine bay battery box with those five modules um, so this yeah, and this is the return for the other connection from the uh, inverter which I haven't hooked up yet and then this return is going to flow up into the uh, radiator this is a motorcycle radiator I believe it's uh, Kawasaki I got it on eBay for like 70 bucks I got it because it has a reservoir as well which simplifies things uh, and also, you're not going to need a whole bunch of cooling with this. I mean, I've seen people run the the SME uh, inverter without any cooling at all. The chill plate is, you know, optional. Um, and the Tesla batteries, under the kind of discharge that you can do with a with a um, Hyper 9, shouldn't be struggling too much. Uh, and also, no fast charging, just 6.6 .6 kilowatts. So I don't think I'll need a ton of cooling uh, cooling capacity. Right now, I don't have a fan on it. I'll see how that works out. I uh, might add a fan later, shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, so the coolant flows through here. Uh, radiator hopefully cools down a little bit. And then it flows down and back to the inlet fitting on this Tesla coolant pump right here. Um, and then that Tesla coolant pump, you can see the power connections there, the red and black uh, wires. It's just 12 volt, basic 12 volt coolant pump. So that's the, that's the cooling.